started sewing when I was 12. I asked for a sewing machine for Christmas and then from there I um, just started like upcycling things, going to Salvation Army, buying those mom shorts that were super in at the time and um, well they were mom jeans and then I would crop them up into shorts and decorate them and sell them on eBay. And then from there, um, when I was in high school I went through I would say somewhat of a rebellious stage where I really delved into art and fashion and I used it as a way to cope with depression. Um, and then when uh, college came around, I, I knew I wanted to be a fashion designer. So I attended Wayne State in Detroit and I just graduated about six months ago with a BA in Fine Arts, a concentration in Fashion Design and a minor in Textile Design. I currently co-own a high fashion streetwear brand with my sister in Detroit where I lead creative direction and she handles operations. I would say my aesthetic as a designer is really just to push the boundaries. Push the boundaries of fashion of, and society and um, make the consumer see fashion as an art and not just this mass-produced product. One way I like to push the boundaries of fashion um, is through function and um, how transformable a garment can be and how many different ways that, um, let's say, the, a, a bag can be worn, like attached to pants or worn as a fanny pack, um, how versatile can pockets be, collars, um, openings. Another way I push boundaries of fashion is through gender. Um, I really I think my favorite thing is when a male walks up to the our like female designed rack and picks something out and just can't tell the difference. I think that's really cool to play with those gender stereotypes. I think that sustainability is the future and the consumers buying actions are already reflecting that. So everything that I design for my brand um, incorporates sustainability somehow. We make all of our garments in small batch. We dye all of our garments in-house, and we have come up with processes to reuse water between dye baths, saving hundreds of gallons of water each season. We just finished up production for Spring Summer 20, and the really cool thing about this collection is that most of it was manufactured here in Detroit. What's up for Spring Summer 20 was inspired by brutalism architecture. It was really combining the aesthetics of function the modular elements and raw materials to build sustainable structures. The piece is hand dyed with local produce and internally battles with feminine concepts and colors while trying to bring new dimensions to the intersection of sustainability and edgy feminine fashion.